What's up, guys? It's TKO442 here, bringing you my first episode on uh, the Premier League. I'm going to be predicting uh, the Premier League for the 2021. And we've got a special guest here. CFC News, which you can find me on Instagram, CFC9. Okay, you can follow him on Instagram as well. So, as you said, CFC9, you said? CFC News 9. News 9. All right. With then, a Z. Huh? With a Z. With a Z. So, yeah, uh, you can follow him on that. And uh, before we start this prediction, I'm going to say that, as you know by his name already, he's going to be a, a bit biased on Chelsea and I'm going to be bit biased on Liverpool. I'm a Liverpool fan. So, um, let's go straight into it. And uh, our top four, starting with the fourth position, I'm going to say Arsenal uh, in fourth position. Well, I'm going to say Man United, but they could come second, third, but yeah, I put them fourth. Uh, I say Arsenal due to the fact that they beat you guys last last season, man. In um, season in FA Cup, bro. Which was due to poor referee, but okay. Yo, you can say whatever you want, but Arteta did a mad deal, no, mad thing there, bro. He did his formation. The team looks like a different team at the moment with Arteta in it. Especially they got hundred million uh, in the bank now. I'm hearing I don't know, from. I don't know where you got that from. But yeah, nah, I'm getting it from the news, man. I'm getting it from the news. So Arsenal could, if they get another, but well, they need to get another two more defenders, a uh, good mid- midfielder, sell Ozil, and they'll be top four any day, bro, any day. And uh, yeah, but he, if they be able to beat you, they beat beat us as well. They beat us as well, mate. They beat Liverpool in the Premier League as well. Would you, would you, would you expect? They're doing mad thing. They do it. They even beat Man City. Uh, well, what, they meet what, what Man City they, what in position, position, Africa. What position, they meet Man City. Huh? What position did they come in the league? Oh, mate. They they did like 7th or 8th or something like that. And there you go. So, but, but that's last season. They're going to make big transfers now. No, they won't. They are. They are. No, they won't. Co- yeah, they did came 8th place last season. But yeah, they're going to be 4th place. Oh, right, give me a reason for Man United being 4th then. Well, I just think their team is very strong. They got Jado Sancho linked with them. Yeah, Jado Sancho. I, if he joins, then I think Man United could come second place. To yeah, me, like you said, have, they have a top, but, top attack. Huh? They will have a good attack. They also yeah, have yeah but the defense is pretty good. If, the goalkeeper needs to be changed, though. They yeah, Jado. Yeah, the other thing they do. I think Pickford. Not Pickford. What well, I've got his name. Uh, Henderson. Henderson. He he yeah. was on loan in it from them. So if he comes back and he replaced Jado, uh, that would be good. For them, says. But he's also linked to Chelsea, but... Is he? Yeah. I don't know that he's linked to... I thought you are going to buy another goalkeeper. Of well, we're for many goalkeepers, but I don't, I don't think it's going to come to Chelsea. Definitely... Yeah, you definitely need to sell your goalkeeper. Yeah, we definitely Yeah, are. and you need to fix up your defence, mate. So, uh, in third place, I'm going to say Man City. And I'm going to say Liverpool. Okay, I don't know why you put Liverpool in third place, but still. Uh, I'm going to say Man City, due to the fact that um, I don't feel like they have the same interest as they did, like, two years ago. Uh, they did win the Premier League a lot of times. I think the main aim is to win the Champions League. So I don't think uh, Pep is more focused on Man City in terms of uh, Premier League. Moment, if you get me, no. uh, he's more on Champions League. This thing. But but the team, I don't know, man. They need to get defense because they're playing. Well, they're the, saying Nathan from Bournemouth. Uh, true, uh, but I'm saying. <sighs> Van Dyke is a different level, bro. Van Dyke, Liverpool is a different level. Wait, 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 listen. They are actually linked to um, the Na- Napoli uh, guy. I've got his name. Koulibaly. If, get, if they get Koulibaly, they can get top top two. Who's top two. Man City? Man City, definitely. Get, if they get Koulibaly, especially in that Barcelona match a um, couple of days ago, they did good. They, he did good. He did give the penalty away, but Bob, he's, he's, too, he's too good, but he wasn't performing that well. How old is he now? He's like 28. He's 20. He's a bit old. He's a bit old. He's a bit old. So, Man City, that's my reason. What's your reason for putting Liverpool third, mate? I, I just think that... I th- I th- well, the, the, they have a solid defence. Yeah. Like field attack. Like, okay, let's say... For me, for Firmino, it's already not that great anyway. Okay, I'll say that. Firmino needs to be changed. We I need know to change. Sa- 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 stat does not reflect his ability. His ability isn't that... Have you seen the shoot- him shooting? Nah, Salah. Sa- Sa- nah, nah, nah. Past three seasons, he's been scoring. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I'm saying his his stat does not reflect his ability. I'll, oh, you're, well, that's what you say. His yeah. stat does not. Oh, I'll, I'll say he's above. He's not. He's not. Like you're, not say, you're not gonna say. You're gonna say. You're not gonna say. Someone who scores zero goals. Yeah, you're gonna say. Oh, oh, he's the best in the Premier League. No, you're not. You're gonna yeah. go by stats. Yeah. You, you're gonna say. His, his stats does not reflect his ability. I don't think he's a top. No, player. you have to. You have to put a stat on the ability. If the, the stats doesn't affect the uh, impact the ability. Those who represent the ability. What am I? But I just don't see that Mane and compared to Salah, Mane is way better above Salah. 
I just don't see. I just see. I, th- I don't even think that Salah is that great. Well, he's a good, good winger, but like, I'll, I'll say Mane is good. Mane is Mane is Salah is good, man. Salah did uh, Salah did lo- uh, miss out. It was a main man, Lovren. He's uh, he has moved from Liverpool at the moment, uh, unfortunately. But uh, he's done a lot for main Liverpool. Man Lovren. Lovren. Yeah. Love him. Love him. Bad. He's a main man. He's a main man in the team. He's got he's got the he's got the enthusiasm in the team. He he brings the team together. How many games did he play this season? But forget that man, forget that. Maybe I love it, okay. Oh well, we'll Alright, yeah. right, second place, which you both agree on, okay, if, surprisingly, see. I'll say Chelsea as well. Due to the fact that they've got very good transfers coming in. I will go sign new goalkeeper, centre back and left back. Yeah, that's if you sign them. You sign them. We, we good definitely players. are. We're yeah. going to sign all these attackers and not sign defenders. We're going to sign a goalkeeper and definitely a centre back. You definitely need a goalkeeper. You definitely need a goalkeeper. And you definitely need a centre back. I don't know why. I you, still think you're, Zuma are really good. They're still top quality. I feel like you guys are going to be in the next Arsenal, though. Next Arsenal. Like, you're going to have a mad. Uh, definitely. A mad front, yeah. And they're going to have like, d- defensive. If you don't sign anyone for the back, oh, man. We, do, we definitely will, but. Huh? Yeah. Hopefully, Declan Rice. We're building Declan Rice. Declan Rice, he plays CDM, too. but he just plays CDM. He can play centre back as well. It, it, I've never seen him play centre back. Okay. I never seen him say he play centre back. He's he's very good. He's got very good long shots. He's like he's like Fabinho, but a younger version. But yeah, yeah Fabinho is way better than him at the moment. He's got a lot to learn though. He's still young. He's like yeah, twenty three years old. Twenty one. Ah, that's pretty good. So yeah, I'll say Chelsea for that fact. But if they don't sign any defence, mate, that's the thing. I'm still a bit annoyed with Chelsea for taking Werner from Liverpool. Uh, but Werner, yeah, we we kept we delayed it so much. Uh, we should have got Warner. If you mean we should sell, we should get a good uh, player in the in the team for that. So yeah, if you sell Firmino and if you get another player, that'd be great. But as all well, Chelsea is a youthful team. They've got a lot of youth players. They're selling Williams and they they're using We're like a lot of players. Yeah, you're, you're using Arsenal like your second like. Oh, like, they're, they're basically a retirement centre. Yeah, that's pretty. Yeah, you took words out of my mouth there. So yeah. Uh, our first place and yours is going to be Man City mine's going to be Liverpool uh, Liverpool due to the fact that I'm a Liverpool fan I'm, I'm going to say that but yeah Liverpool is going to make it top two in next season but I feel strongly believe that Liverpool is going to win the Premier League again due to the fact that we are the most complete team yeah midfield alright we need to change the midfield yes we do need to change Firmino which we hopefully would Hopefully we can buy someone. Oh, you uh, we'll, the Yes, t- team we want to get. Bro, I'm. I was hearing like when we get the night deal, we're gonna get Mbappe and shit. Yeah. And hopefully we get that. We'll be bad. We'll be bad. We'll, we'll be sound. And Thiago's coming in. Uh, Thiago's coming in for eighteen or twenty-three million. Is that confirmed? I don't know yet, but if he comes in, he'll be good for the yeah, midfield thing. Midfield signing. Midfield signing. Uh, but he's a bit old, isn't he? He's like twenty-seven or something. Uh, I don't know. I think twenty-five something like that. Yeah, somewhere along the lines of that. But Liverpool, man, I don't see anyone beating us uh, next season. Okay, let's say let's say Mane gets injured. Who are you gonna play? Mini Mina. That's the thing. That's the thing. That's the thing. That, that, I, I was gonna come to that. I was gonna say that. Forget Mane. Yeah, Mate, imagine if Van Dijk gets injured. But if Van Dijk gets injured, we'll, we'll yeah, get you know that you're there, yeah. Poor. That's what I'm saying. We don't have any backup. We do need to get. All right, we are linked to one youth um, uh, defender at the moment. I, I don't. I can't remember his uh, name at the top, but he's he's got very potential. So he probably can't. Oh, Dutch centre back. Yeah, I think it's uh, it's start of SC or something like that. I don't know. I can't remember until my head. But yeah, if he comes into that team, that could be a uh, replacement if we have the band that he gets injured. But yeah, Mane gets injured. Uh, that's not a big oh. problem. But he he's got injured. He's got injured, but apparently plenty of times this season. Uh, he, he yeah, he's got injured once or twice. He missed like a few couple of matches. We still won. We still won. We can oh, still do. Who right? replaces him? Shakiri. Uh, Origi, Origi was playing left wing. And uh, Minamino can play. Though, if you see no, Minamino's no. last match, if you see last match, he can play. He just needs time. He could be. Uh, he could be. He could be the next. Um, what's the name? I've got the guy who joined uh, Real Madrid, the goalkeeper. First season. Goalkeeper. He, uh, yeah, the goalkeeper who, who joined uh, Real Madrid from Europe, from Chelsea. Courtois. Courtois. First season. I compare right wing. Well, I'm saying that. No, no, no. I'm talking about the mental uh, abilities, bro. Like uh, first time. I just Minamino ever fitting in that team. No, 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 no. He just needs to. He just needs to settle down. It's a new place before him. A new team, a bigger team. Mm-hmm. He's played for RSP uh, Leipzig, yeah, isn't it? Salzburg. Salzburg, what it is? Yeah, he was playing for like a, a little team. What? You're playing for the top notch now. Obviously, you're coming well, to the team. Well, it's a Harland. He came from there. I look at him setting where we were. Well, he went to Dortmund. Dortmund is still good. Yeah, I'm, I'm not going to say. I'm not going to say anything about that. But he, it's a youthful team. Oh, it's been a Champions League winning team. 
you're coming into. That's, above, that's, that's a big... And you're coming in for like only eight, nine million, so it's not a lot of pressure on it. So it's, it's not like, it's not like uh, Mandek when you had a pressure like 80 million from uh, Philly. Uh, so yeah, that, he's got a lot of pressure on him. But I still believe, man, I still believe that um, Liverpool can win uh, the league again next, next season. And hopefully we would. Hopefully you would. I just and see that. But the only problem thing I'm thinking about is this transfer, man. We've been a bit stingy. Well, you do... missed out on the biggest opportunity team in Werner. Yeah, we did. We did. Uh, yeah. But I was pretty confident he's going to Liverpool. Her, like, he got a Zoom calls with Jurgen Klopp. Yeah, but I was happy. But the next day, I seen him moving to uh, Chelsea. Man. I, I even told you. I knew that. Nah, I don't believe it. Yeah, nah. I didn't believe it, but he misses out a great opportunity, bro. I feel like uh, he missed out. Chelsea is the better. Uh... We have a... Promising use the future ahead of us. All yeah, if you get Kai Havertz as well, that's yeah. mad. So moving to Man City, he thinks Man City is gonna be top plays for next season. I believe Liverpool, but let's quickly hear what he wants to say about it. Well, I just think that having finished 18 points behind Liverpool, Pep Guardiola, he'll be like, well, we know he's a top quality manager. He'll be motivated, and I just think overall he has a better squad than Liverpool. So I believe overall, that. Yeah. you're saying he's a better squad than Liverpool. He we got 99 points, and he got 81. Yeah. 18 points difference and you still right. think he's a bigger yeah. yes if you look at his last 5 games he won all of them yeah our last 5 games we won, lost 1 I believe but still bro how could you lose 18 points bro but prior to the season yeah, we lost by 1 point ok cool that's alright that that's, shows that we are neck and neck 18 points differences that, that's a very good next season I think they'll just be more motivated and, uh, yeah, it could be it could be at the start of the season it's true they, they were looking to get a, a new defender I think they, they, they got the defender yeah, yeah they got the defender and that was the biggest uh, like a, a drawback they had from yeah, last season Laporte. especially Laporte innit? Yeah. Laporte was injured and they couldn't find a replacement for them so that will, that was pretty much it but Man City man I, I feel like they're going to go down a bit more I put Man City at third place man you put them at first well, well the top, I'm just saying the top four is, is any anybody can do it. It's what this transfer with is just barely started, so we'll see what Yeah, happens. true, yeah. So by the way, uh, if you're think uh, thinking already why are we doing it before the transfer window has been closed, uh this is just our prediction. So we would be doing another podcast when, when the window closes. Yeah, when the window closes. And uh, it might change our starting four and um it might not to be honest. I believe Liverpool's still gonna win. I think my top is gonna be but uh, how my Second third, fourth place could change a bit, uh, but yeah, apart from that, that'll be the end of the transfer window. We'd do another podcast, but as of now, I still can't see Man City coming in uh, first place. Oh, don't get me wrong, mate, but Liverpool, just too good, mate. Too good, too nah, good. Nah. Too, too good of a team, mate. Too good of a team. The bond yeah, that have... You just don't have the squad depth, that's what, that's what I'm saying. Squad depth? What yeah. do you mean squad depth? We Attack. Have... You have no, like, apart from the top the three attackers, who else do you have? What do you mean? Uh, Origi? He ain't, well, he ain't like all elite level, like... Well, yeah, 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 you're telling him, me that you're not all level. Oh, he scored the Champions League. Yeah, the final, Champions nah. League final, yeah, wait, 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 Champions League final. Bro, what, you, you see what he done to Barcelona? 4-0. Nah, nah. Oh, mate, 4-0 already. Minimino's there, mate, Minimino's there as well. He's doing bits, he's doing bits, he, he's got a few thingy. Oh, no, no, wait, who do you have? Oh, who? Shaqiri. So my bad. Shikri is gone, mate. He's gonna go. He's gonna go. He in this window, he's, he's definitely gone. So yeah, that's so overall. That is our full uh, top four actually. And uh, let's quickly go over it for my position. I will say uh, Liverpool first place, Chelsea second place, third Man City fourth, Arsenal. While his eyes. Well, mine is Man City first, Chelsea second, Liverpool third, Man United fourth. But I'm just gonna say Arsenal not gonna be top four. That's what I'm saying. Arsenal not gonna be top four. No, nah. mate. The they are, bro. The they are, bro. No. Jeez, if you see a Teta is a team now, bro, it's doing bits. Well, Aubameyang is going to sign a new deal. I don't know why he's signing a new deal. Aubameyang is. Why wouldn't you, bro? You why won the FA Cup. He's not playing he European football. He won the FA Cup. He won the FA Cup, yeah? Yeah, he yeah. won the FA Cup. And he, what do you mean? He won the FA Cup, bro. That's pretty much it. You have won no trophies this season. Okay. Tell me, name me a trophy that you won this season. That's not We won the European last season. That's last season. I'm talking about this season. Okay, that means nothing. You're nothing. They even Arsenal has won a trophy this season. Okay, so you, what? What Man City won this season? But they're gonna win the. Uh, they might even win the Champions League. Okay, let's say they don't win the Champions League. You're telling me Arsenal's better than Man City. No way, Champions. No, they have won something. Um, oh, they won the Euro Cup. Euro Cup. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, yeah they've got a trophy in it. They've got something wet. Nah. Yeah, but man, your, your team is washed, mate. I think our uh, Chelsea is washed. Yeah. Although well, I do a lot of Chelsea videos on my uh, YouTube channel, but yeah, Chelsea is not. They could get 
Like, just like this season, nobody would have put in the top four. People would say we're coming seventh, eighth, sixth. True, true. Before and the season, Lewis yeah. Has true. On, no transfers. True. How much did play our youth or the type of youth? Yeah. I, to be honest, I would not even put you in top four. You know, from from the start of the season. But yeah. So let's quickly wrap up this uh, episode. If you like this episode, make sure you subscribe to the podcast so you get notified. I think it's not a subscription. I think it's a following. Make sure you follow the podcast and uh, check out our... Will this be on your YouTube channel? Huh? Will this be also be on your YouTube channel? Yeah, I think it's going to be on YouTube as well. Uh, hopefully we can put, put, upload this on YouTube. So yeah, check out that as well. And uh, yeah, thank you very much. And uh, thanks for CSC uh, News as well. Link will be in the description. Yeah, you know. yeah, I'll put it in the, in the uh, description of the podcast. So check that out as well. So thank you very much and have a beautiful day.